All right, legends, welcome back. So two videos ago, we created our favorites. Last video, we went ahead and created our project as well as a keyword collection. Now we're gonna start adding the clips that we want into our timeline. So there's two ways that I do it. Uh, you can either drag and drop. That's definitely like the rookie noob. With, nothing wrong with that. I've been doing that since the early days of iMovie. Just go ahead and drag it, drop it just like that. Um, Shift Z becomes your best friend when you're in your timeline down here. So if you're always kind of maybe confused, if you pull this too far to the left or the right, we'll pull this all the way to the left. If you hit Shift Z, it brings the clips pretty much to the exact perspective that you want. So we can put all these clips in here. I'll put that in there. I'm just dragging and dropping. I'm gonna shorten this up. And it's always gonna fill, if you hit Shift Z, it's always gonna fill it to about here, about 80% of your timeline. So go ahead and hit Shift Z, just like that. Perfect, it's pretty much like the perfect ratio of how minimized or maximized I want my timeline. So Shift Z is definitely one of my best friends. Um, so that's one way of doing it. Now when you're, now when you wanna remove clips, just click on the clip and just hit backspace or delete, I'm sorry. Just like that. Now, if you want to be a little bit more kind of Final Cut Pro advanced editor about it, what you can do is I'm going to click on this clip. And there's three options right here. Um, all these options added to the timeline. I use this option right here if I'm going to do like picture in picture. This option right here is going to add it to wherever your playhead is. So we can have our playhead right here. And I've got this clip and it's going to add it right there. And this option right here, if I just want to add a clip to the end. So what I want to do is just... I'm gonna take this clip and click right there. It's automatically gonna add it to the end. So that's kind of the gist. Those are the two ways that I do it. Uh, what you do not wanna do is right click and open in timeline because it's gonna take it out of our project that we're in. And that's not bad. You can just keep opening stuff up in timeline and just keep doing all your projects in the event, but that's not why we did that. That's not why we took the time to create the project. So I'm gonna go back and it's creating gaps right there. Um, so that's it, uh, how I add my clips to my timeline. I either drag and drop or I click on a clip and I'll just add it. See my, my playhead's already at the start right here. I'll just go ahead and click it right there. I will add this. Well, it's not gonna matter if I click this or that because my playhead's already at the end. And that's kind of the gist. So good luck with that guys. Hopefully this made sense. That's the two ways that I add my clips to my timeline. In iMovie, the next movie, in the next movie we're gonna talk about our blade tool right here. We're actually gonna talk about talk about cutting up clips. So I had just like a bucket of coffee right now. And that's kind of the gist. So keep in mind, you can, you can either drag and drop or use one of these three options right here. But what you do not wanna do is, I mean, there's no right or wrong. You're not gonna go to prison for doing this. You don't wanna open it up in timeline because that's just gonna go out of the project that we created. All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this made sense. Next video, we're gonna, st we're gonna start talking about the blade tools and all these uh, select trim position hand and zoom tools right here. These are all very easily to use key keyword shortcuts. And uh, this is kind of like the pulse of editing and Final Cut Pro 10. All right guys, good luck with that. Hopefully this made sense. I'll see you in the next video.